Oh, hey, hey, Peter. I made this. Uh, this the, the kids call it a bean cannon. Players use, I believe, the kids call these beans. That's what the kids call them these days. Oh, so that's that's what it fires. Um, we out here. I'm out here by myself, obviously, and I'm gonna I'm gonna fire these beans. Uh, over over there, I don't know. Oh, there's a tree in the way thing, but it's gonna be epic. And I made, and you want to see video how how I made this? <laughs> stick around, stick a stick around, stick around, stick around. <laughs> Good morning. Go away. Go away. Go away. All the way over there. Okay, so this is kind of the cannon or something. Right here, this is a combustion chamber. You spray hairspray in there. You get a grill igniter and then you light it and it make, makes a spark so it combusts in there. And then our beans are going to fly out of here because it, air is in there. It's like, whoa, we got to find a way out of this chamber here. Oh, the, we get away, but there's beans in the way, so it pushes the beans out real fast. And they're like really fast. And so it's going to. Oh, uh, that's what we're gonna make. That's how it works or something. I'm gonna start with building the combustion chamber. That was beautiful, actually. Wow, that went right in there. Look at that. Alright, there we go. There's our combustion chamber right there. Now we got to get a pipe to put on the end of here. That's going to be the barrel that holds the beans. It's going to hold the beans. And it's right over here. We got to cut it because it's huge. Oh. Oh. Alright, so we got this cut and I want to take a minute to talk about this barrel here because I had a lot of trouble at Home Depot trying to figure out how to shoot beans, I guess. If you want to shoot beans too, this is the brand you got to use for a very specific reason. Because the diameter of it is right under three inches. You can see it blurry, but you can see it right under it. And the rest of the bean cans that were available at Walmart were just a little over three inches. But actually it's pretty convenient because this is actually like 74 cents per can. So it's cheap ammo. And three inches is the diameter of this pipe here. So. You just have to take my word for it, because, you know, I... So yeah, this fits beautifully just right in there. So it's, it couldn't be more perfect, actually. Also at Walmart, they had bean cans that were two and a half inches. So I bought some of those, but then I went to the Home Depot right next door, and there was one inch, there was one half an inch, there was two inch, and then it jumped to three inches for some reason. So I had to go with three inches, because because of this. So I had to go back to Walmart and everything. So yeah, if you're planning on doing this, buy Van Camp's beans and then get a three inch uh, PVC pipe because it is perfect. Grade A Bepping. All right, so we have this built, but right now if you slid beans down the barrel, it would go right into the combustion chamber. And we don't want that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get these three screws here and just drill them in like right here. Just to prevent the beans from going into the combustion chamber. That's a sentence that you don't say every day. <laughs> Stopped by the screws. Okay, so we got the structure of this cannon built real good. And uh, now we put in this igniter, which I had to buy at Lowe's, by the way, which because Home Depot didn't have it, which is cringe. Dude, Home Depot doesn't, my experience at Home Depot has never been that great. Like, they, I always go there and never have anything. I'm looking, okay, okay, uh, so, uh, story time. I was working late at night on a school night, and I was, I was like, okay, tomorrow is Friday, it's Thursday night, I'm like, okay, tomorrow is Friday, I gotta go to uh, Home Depot, pick up a can of spray paint because I was making a thing for my brother for Christmas as a Christmas gift. It was getting close to Christmas as well. So after work, I went, okay, there's a Home Depot just down the way. I'm going to go to Home Depot, get some spray paint. So 
I go Home Depot, get some spray paint, and I was looking for like a uh, gray spray paint. There's a super nice guy, he helped me out, he was like, oh, you're looking for, you're looking for gray spray paint, you're looking for uh, uh, matte or gloss, I mean, I'm probably more gloss, he's like, okay, over here, and I'm like, oh, okay, this is good, thank you, very helpful, real great guy, and then I go to the register, I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe Home Depot isn't so bad, after all, after, maybe it's not so bad, mmm, so, I went to the register to self check out, went to the spray paint, I went boop, in the whole register. Just, boop, boop, boop. just alarms going off all the time. I just scan the spray paint, I'm like, what what is this? And so a lady comes over, the lady at the she worked there, you know, the self checkout person. She came over, she's like, Okay, what's your birthday? I'm like, Oh, okay, two thousand three. I told her my birthday and then, and then and then she goes, You know you have to be over eighteen by spray paint, right? How am I, what the heck? What, like what am I supposed to do now? What am I supposed to do? Now? I got tomorrow. I got I I can't do it. I'm busy tomorrow. Like Christmas is a, like a week away or something. I haven't finished. I haven't painted my gift yet. What the heck? What what is going on? Cringe. They have a good theme song though. Home Depot. That's a good theme song. Nonetheless, I got this at Lowe's. Because <laughs> Home Depot didn't have it. And what this does is basically it's for your grill. And we hold these right here, we'll see a little electrical arc, watch. See that? So that's what's going to ignite this. I'm going to get these screws, we're going to hook up the wires to these screws, so it's going to arc between these screws. We're going to screw these in the combustion chamber. So that's what we're going to do, it's kind of hard to explain, but you'll see it once I, once I do it. Moral of the story is... I don't know, Home Depot, a little bit cringe. Attention all Lowe's shoppers. This guy shops at Home Depot. Now I got the PVC at Home Depot though. That's good. But you know what, what, what would have been con convenient? They had this. My gosh, they don't have anything. How can, they, how can their store be so big, but they never have anything? I don't understand, dude. I gotta, dude, I gotta take a break for a minute. I gotta, go away. <laughs> Here we go. Hot glued it on there. Alright, so I want to show you, so I got this hooked up, I got the screws in there, you can see them, those are them, so we're going to click the button, you'll see those arc. Okay, we got the, we got the igniter made, we got the cannon body made, oh, it's good. Now, the last thing that we have to do for like putting it all together is make like the uh, woodworking parts so we're gonna make some wooden wheels and wooden body this part's probably gonna take the longest but it's most peaceful and relaxing too so that's why that's why I like woodworking it's gonna be good we're gonna make some epic wheels we this really do be a wheel moment anyway time time to get to to woodwork <laughs> Uh, I'm trying I'm going for a 12 sided wheel so I cut each one of these this is 75 degrees right here on both sides five five inches each I think that's perfect <laughs> cool Okay, here's the wheel. So yeah, once you go through all the work making that, do it all again. You have to do it again. Go. Right now. Hey, pause the video. Go do it again. You have to do it. You, you're paying for this. This is coming out of your wallet. I stole it. I stole your wallet. It's mine now. 
I have it. It's in my pocket. It's mine. I am your owner now. Bring me one croissant. But before you do that, before you get me my croissant, uh, I'm gonna make the this part now. Right here. Uh, okay, yeah, I gotta, we gotta, I gotta do that now. Ugly. It's an ugly person. I didn't know what that was over there, but that's an ugly person. Hey, guess what? I finished it. I did. I seen it. I was there. You were there. You were there, apparently. Apparently, you was watching the whole time. You were there. You seen it. I, uh, I finished it. It's crazy. Crazy. This vast, uh, this vast abandoned gravel quarries. So, what we're just gonna do is gonna get these totally realistic Heinz baked beans. This is separate. These are not the same at all, at all. I don't know what you're thinking, but what we gotta do, we gotta see it come here. Come here. Hey, come here. see this? See how they fit in there? So apparently, upon further investigation, they have to be like really compact in there. Like that's kind of kind of loose we can't have any of that so I'm gonna wrap it with some tape so it's like more compact and stuff so it fills it real good and then we can fire it and it's gonna be bepping O'Reilly Auto Parts oh. all right you ready yep all right try this again <laughs> this is a oh. three two where's my sword ah uh, three two one. <laughs> oh dang, dude! <laughs> oh wow! Gonna, so cameraman Nate, see what he's gonna do? He's gonna fire these these beans, and he's gonna fire. See that lake way over there? That lake way over there? That's the lake he's gonna fire it into. Alright, how's this gonna fit out? Oh, I got you. How, that's how I made my bean can right here. That's how I made Mr. or uh, old old bean boy. That's what the kids call it. So yeah, if, uh, if you like this video, make sure to like that smash button and subscribe, 
play for you games. I don't know, that's it. You subscribe if you want or something. Go away. Right now, do it. Go. Ah! Wacky man. That's a wacky man right over there.